All right, for today's video, we will be talking about Newman projection. Uh, Newman projection can only happen with a single bond. So, single bond. This is because a single bond is freely rotated. So, free rotation. When you rotate it, it can happen. Um, so, the uh, Newman projections cannot happen for a double or triple bond because when you rotate a double and triple bond, it will uh, break the molecule. All right. So before we get started on how to make it, we must know uh, two things. First, we must know what staggered is. Staggered. And we must know what eclipsed is. Eclipsed. So e staggered, it's more stable. more stable while eclipsed is less stable um what else is it and um so we'll get to more stable and less stable but these are the two main differences and so when it's more stable staggered would be low energy Well, eclipsed being less stable, it will be high energy. Uh, we'll get to that when we talk about the uh, high level energy trend. Energy trend. High energy. So those are the two most important things about these two: a staggered and eclipse. Now, how do they look like? So, for example, if I have a molecule, two carbon like this, and I have a hydrogen going up right here. And then I would have a dash, and I would have a wedge. And now on this side, on the left side, we would have a hydrogen up, a dash, and a wedge. So basically, what's on the right side is on the left. This form is an eclipsed form. They're both on the same side, right? Now, what staggered looks like, it's a little bit different. We would have a hydrogen up here, and we would have a dash over here. Okay, so same thing so far. And then we have a wedge, right? But now, on the left side, we would have the opposite of it. So, going from the wedge to the other side will be another wedge direct with each other which and then right down the middle will be a, a dash and then we have a just a bond of hydrogen so you can look at it going across with each other basically what it is and this is this is staggered staggered all right so now for example Let's say we have a molecule, same molecule we just drew, the carbon, right? So we would have just, and we would have to draw the Newman projection, so we would just draw a circle, right? And what goes in the middle? would be the first carbon, what goes in the second will be the second carbon, right? So we we'll always start with the first carbon. So there's something called the front carbon and the back carbon. So the carbon one is the front carbon, while carbon two is the back carbon. So carbon one is right in the middle, right? We can see it because it's in the front, right? So now right in front of it, we have this hydrogen, right? Hydrogen, so it'll go up, you have H right here, and on the sides, we would have the other hydrogens. So going like this. All right now, the back carbon we can't see it, but we can see what's connected to. So on the sides, we got the two hydrogens connected to it. So they'll be on the sides up here, H, and another H, and then right down the middle. 
we have this hydrogen coming up. So hydrogen right there. Right. So this is the staggered form. This will be called the staggered form. We'll, we'll, we'll number it. Um, number one. Right. Then we have, we rotate it to the right. So rotate 60 degrees, always to the right. So next, so enough first, before we rotate it, we have to rotate either the back carbon or the front carbon. So um, it doesn't matter what you do, but for this, we will rotate the back carbon. So rotating only the back carbon, meaning the front carbon stays the same. So we draw the circle again. And so we know that the, we're rotating the back carbon. So the front carbon has to stay the same. You can't move, can't move both. Now, if we move it 60 degrees to the right, always to the right, never to the left, always to the right, we see that this hydrogen, this one over here, it would go here, eclipsing, so meaning on top of the, of the uh, front hydrogen, right? Then this hydrogen would be on top of this hydrogen. They're on top of each other, but I put it close to each other so you guys can see it. Then now this hydrogen would be on top of this hydrogen, right? This is the eclipse form, and we'll name it number two, right, number two. So, so far, we have two Newman projections. The first one staggered, and the second one is eclipsed. So, the staggered one is more stable, so it has a low energy and while the second one is eclipsed, has is less stable, but it has a higher energy. Okay. Now we have to rotate it four more times. So now, if we rotate it, draw another circle. If we rotate it again, we keep the front carbon. So the front carbon always stays the same. And then we rotate the back carbon sixty degrees to the right. So now this hydrogen would be down in the middle and this hydrogen would be on the side then this hydrogen will be right here right now it's back to staggered position as you can see so now it's more it is uh, more stable below energy All right let's draw the fourth one rotating 60 degrees Now we rotate it 60 degrees to the right again. So now this hydrogen will be on this hydrogen, eclipsing. This hydrogen will be on this hydrogen. This hydrogen would come over here. So it's basically on top of each other. Now it's back to the eclipsed form. So let's number it. So this was number three. And this was number four. Roman number four. Okay. Now let's go up here. So up here. So we just circle, right? Always keep the front carbon. It doesn't move. Oops. Okay. Okay. We just wipe it off. Okay, we'll just uh, go here. Okay, let's just draw it again. So we have fun carbon staying the same. Okay, we have that. Now the back carbon goes back to the original place. That, that, that. Right, now then we move it. So this is tagged position. One more. We have one more to go because six and six, right? 
one carbon stays the same. Right. Now, it was eclipsed H, hydrogen, and hydrogen. Right. Now we have six in total. Right. So, let's now draw the energy level for this. Right. So, the first one was staggered. Staggered means it has a low level. So, the first one is like this, low. Now, the second one was eclipsed. Eclipse is less stable, but it has a higher energy level. So, it would be all the way up here. Right. Now, the third one was back to staggered. And since it's all hydrogens, it will be the same thing as the first one. More stable, but less energy. Okay. The fourth one was eclipsed, so less stable, high energy. Same thing as the fourth, uh, second one. The fifth one was staggered. That goes back to the first and third one. So it would be down here because it's more stable, less energy. Now, finally, the sixth one was eclipsed, and it would be have a high energy, so it would be up here. So this is the energy trend for it. Going up and down. It would look like this. And that is all for the new projection.